the overwhelming majority of soma of neurons in the cerebrum are located in the outer several millimeters, what is known as the cerebral cortex. There are, however, neuronal soma deeper inside the cerebrum, and these are the basal nuclei. They are quite frequently called the basal ganglia, but technically the term ganglion refers to a cluster of soma outside the central nervous system. So these are more appropriately referred to as the basal nuclei, although they are commonly called the basal ganglia. These nuclei do not form part of the roof of the cerebrum or pallium, so they are referred to as one of the sections of the subpallium. And as you can see here in these developing brains of different vertebrates, the aqua region, which is the striatum and these basal nuclei, um, this is a characteristic of all vertebrates, although it can be divided differently uh, into nuclei. The prominent parts in the human brain are the caudate nucleus, the putamen, and the globus pallidus. In this image, you can note the lateral ventricles, the central third ventricle, and the lobes of the thalamus on either side of the third ventricle. The basal nuclei include the caudate nucleus, uh, which forms part of the floor of the lateral ventricle, and other components which are separated by the white matter of the internal capsule, here staining black. Uh, these are the putamen and the globus pallidus. The caudate nucleus is involved in motor function, reward, and learning. The putamen is involved in motor function and learning. Together, the two form the dorsal striatum. The name comes from the term striated, which means that these two roughly equivalent structures, some neuroanatomists classify them together as one structure, are separated by this band of white matter, which here is staining black. So you have gray matter, white matter, gray matter, so a striated pattern. Uh, this dorsal striatum uh, has its major input from the neocortex, and the globus pallidus has its major input from the striatum and functions in motor function. When we think of skeletal muscle, we often think of the voluntary control of this muscle that is mediated through the corticospinal tract coming from the motor cortex of the cerebrum and going through uh, these triangular ridges known as pyramids in the medulla but we also have involuntary control of skeletal muscle. And these pathways that offer involuntary control are known as extrapyramidal pathways. And their nuclei in the brain as the extrapyramidal system because they do not travel through, through those pyramids in the medulla. These basal nuclei, along with nuclei in the thalamus and the substantia nigra of the midbrain, uh, and uh, also the cerebellum, uh, these are the extrapyramidal system allowing involuntary control over skeletal muscle.